So I don't normally review animated films on here, but I figured this one was one that I just really wanted to talk about, so let's go ahead. The Boz Burgers movie was released in May 2022, directed by Lauren Boucher, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Bernard Derriman, and it stars H. John Benjamin, Kristen Schaal, Dan Mintz, John Roberts, Eugene Merriman, Zach Galifianakis, Kevin Klein, Larry Murphy, a lot of other people that are in the TV series as well. I will admit that I am not a day one watcher of Bob's Burgers. I actually didn't get into it until just recently, but legitimately I do feel like it's one of the best American animated shows ever made. It's definitely the best modern day one. So without further rambling from me, here is my review for the Bob's Burgers movie. Starting off with the good, and there's a lot that I love in this movie, and I'm just gonna rapid fire. First of all, I love all of these characters. The entire Belcher family is absolutely terrific. Especially, you know, Louise, who is the chaotic evil of the family. And I really love Bob, Linda, Tina, Jean. They're just all absolutely hilarious in their own different ways. I really love the dynamic between Bob and Linda. It's very rare to see an animated dad who loves his kids and also loves his wife. You get, you've been desensitized to these absolutely horrible excuses for fathers and husbands like Homer Simpson or Peter Griffin that you forget that Good dads do exist in entertainment, and Bob Belcher is one of them. He's legitimately worried about providing for his family, and I just really love that. It's, it's really heartwarming to see how much he actually cares for his family. Same with Linda. She really does care for her husband and her children. I really love that. Speaking of the children, they are the focal point of this movie, and they're all three great. Louise is the main focal point of the three children, but Jean and Tina also have their own little side plots going on, and their side plots are good, but Louise's side plot is easily the best in the movie. I really love the interactions with all the rest of the characters. Mr. Fish Odor, voiced by Kevin Klein, absolutely hilarious character. One of my favorites in the entire show. I just love every interaction he has. He's got this tone that's just hilarious when he speaks. His brother Felix, voiced by Zach Galifianakis, absolutely hilarious as well. And I'm not going to spoil who the villain is in this movie, but the villain in this movie is actually quite funny. And it was a twist that I personally did not see coming, but if you pay attention to the silhouettes in the opening few seconds of this movie, you might be able to guess it, but I wasn't paying attention to the silhouettes, but uh, it was a really nice twist for me. The animation in this movie is absolutely terrific. I know a lot of people joke about uh, animated shows getting made into feature films. Basically the only thing they change is they add shadows to the animation, which yeah, the shadows are there, but the animation on a film budget just looks so much more crisp than just on the TV show. And again, I still really love the animation in the show, but the animation was just boosted by the film budget. Also, this movie has music and I really love the music in this movie. It's, it doesn't have as much music as, say, the South Park movie, but the few songs that we do get in this movie do rival the quality of the South Park movie songs. And there's a couple that I listen to a lot already, and it's only been out for a couple weeks, but I just really love it. And also, a character I forgot to mention is Teddy. I love Teddy. He's my favorite character in the show and he gets some absolutely hilarious scenes in this movie and some great lines. I just, I really love his dynamic with Bob and Linda throughout their story in the movie. 
And one thing I just thought was hilarious in a petty way was the fact that Jimmy Pesto does not get a single line of dialogue in this entire movie, mainly because Jay Johnston was fired because of his involvement in the Capitol insurrection last year, which I'm not going to get into. I don't discuss stuff like that on here. But I just think it's hilarious that since they still haven't replaced him, they just have the character in the background in a few scenes. It's just funny to me. I don't know why, it just is. And at the center of this movie is the heart and the humor. And I really love the show because of how much heart and humor it actually has. And they don't skip a beat with the heart or the humor in this movie either. I just really love, like I said, the dynamic between the Belcher family. It's the heart of the show and it's the heart of this movie. I just love how much they actually love and care for each other. Unlike the Simpson family or the Griffin family, they're more in line with the Hill family from King of the Hill. I just really like that. And I just absolutely love this movie. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I just really want everyone to see it as soon as they can. So I'm gonna move on from the good onto the bad. And I really don't have anything to say here. I could probably find something to nitpick if I really thought about it, but I just don't have anything bad to say. Everything's just absolutely perfect here. So final thoughts, I love the Boz Burgers movie and I really hope this does not mark a decline in quality for the show like the Simpsons movie did for the Simpsons and the Spongebob movie did for Spongebob. But I don't think it will because this is just a quality show and a quality movie. The Bob's Burgers movie is absolutely hilarious. Great humor, lots of heart, and I am easily going to give it a 10 out of 10. So that was my thoughts on the Bob's Burgers movie. Have you seen this movie yet? Let me know down in the comments if you have what you thought about it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.